Thanks for watching the latest video weather briefing from the National Weather Service office in San Diego. This is Alex Tardy, Warning Coordination Meteorologist. The topic for this briefing will be the significant storm system to bring major precipitation to Southern California for later this week and into part of the weekend. This video is about four minutes long. Here's a look at the summary of what we expect. Uh, the first system will move through Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Widespread but mostly light precipitation as shown in the amounts here. Now the next system, much more significant, that looks to be on Friday with increasing wind for the ridges, mountain passes, and desert slopes. These winds could exceed 60 miles per hour in the windiest locations. The rain, the rain will become quite heavy and widespread by Friday afternoon and continue most of Friday night. Snow levels starting off rather high over 7,000 but falling pretty quickly to 6,000 Friday night. Here are the rainfall amounts widespread for the coast, two to four inches of rain in the mountains, most coastal areas a half inch to an inch and a half. Snowfall shown here at least six to 12 above 6,000 feet. For the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, not a washout, but there will be showers continuing as one more disturbance moves through. Another quarter to half inch for the coast and valleys and a half inch to an inch and a half for the wetter mountain slopes. An additional several inches of snow above 5,000 feet. Here's a look at the table for the impact. We're going to focus on Friday and Saturday. That's due to the strong winds from the incoming storm system. Those winds taper off pretty quickly on Saturday. Precipitation becomes widespread and quite heavy Friday afternoon through Friday night. Then that heavy rain tapers to showers on Saturday. Our main impact will be from the wind and then also from the heavy rain and widespread rain that could cause problems with roadways including possibly some debris flows and street flooding. Confidence is quite high for this moderate to high through the period in this forecast for Thursday through Saturday. What's the weather pattern? Well, here's a major storm system that'll come off the Pacific Ocean, tapped into deep, rich tropical moisture, and take a path directly towards Southern California. We've been showing this over the past week. It does look like Southern California is in the direct path for this particular storm system mainly the one for February 28th into March 1st, the Friday, Saturday. Statewide precipitation looks like this. Most areas of the state will see significant precipitation, even the valleys. You can see all the mountains with significant rainfall of several inches. Now for areas in Southern California, that's where it looks like the most significant precipitation storm total wise will occur. This only goes through 4 a.m. Saturday, keep in mind. Here's a look at the precipitation that we expect for the first system. That'll be for Wednesday night and Thursday morning. You can see the heaviest will be to the far north where precipitation will be close to an inch in the San Gabriels and western San Bernardino Mountains, but much less precipitation and tapering rather quickly as you get down towards the San Diego County region. Here's a look at precipitation for Friday afternoon through Sunday. This is for Southwest California, San Diego, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties. You can see storm totals of three to five inches locally, even higher in the San Bernardino Mountains. This is precipitation total, so rain and snow. In the Inland Empire, widespread one to two inches. Even on the coast, widespread one to two and locally higher in Orange County. Significant precipitation all the way down into the San Diego Mountains where locations on the west slopes could be up to four inches through storm total or through Sunday. The wind that we mentioned, the wind looks quite strong, especially Friday morning and then tapering off by Saturday afternoon. These winds will be coming from the southwest or the westerly direction as shown here. And the red areas are the most favored regions for winds exceeding 60 miles per hour, such as parts of the San Bernardino Mountains, the ridges and the slopes and the passes, as well as the desert slopes. How significant of a storm will this be? Well, for the period late February, early March, here's a look at the probability of precipitation exceeding the 80th percentile. So basically, 
Will this be a significant storm compared to climatology? And as you can see, targeted is Southwest California in bright red. This is for our coastal areas and also our mountain areas with a large shading of red showing the significance of this storm. Here are some links to monitor all the latest watches, warnings, and advisories. Be sure to check out the link at the top or just visit weather.gov San Diego for watches, advisories, and warnings. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Stay tuned for further updates.